Hi, I'm Veronica Wasek with 5-Minute Bookkeeping, and I help creative online sellers to set up, organize, and streamline their financial systems. Whether you're looking for DIY, done with you, or done for you financials. Today, I am talking to my Shopify sellers and uh, talking about inventory. Should you track your Shopify inventory in QuickBooks Online? Should you track your Shopify inventory in QuickBooks Online? The answer is, well, it depends. And one thing you have to understand is that when you track your inventory in Shopify, you're only tracking inventory quantities, but not cost. Now for accounting and tax purposes, we need to track the inventory quantity and cost so we can actually reflect a dollar amount of the inventory um, for accounting purposes, so for QuickBooks, and also for tax purposes. So let's go over some basics that you need to understand in order to know then how to track your Shopify inventory in QuickBooks Online. One of the most important things you need to understand is that QuickBooks Online inventory is not really made for e-commerce sellers. And that's because the functionality that we see in QuickBooks Online for inventory is for people who sell inventory out of a warehouse and who are invoicing their customers directly. As a Shopify seller or e-commerce seller, you're not invoicing your customers, you're using Shopify to sell your products online. So it's, a, it's very different in tracking your inventory for e-commerce purposes versus what we see in QuickBooks Online. You also have to keep in mind that even if you wanted to track your inventory in QuickBooks Online at a detailed level, meaning that you would track the items and quantities and costs, the inventory functionality in QuickBooks Online is very limited and it's not really robust enough to, to really track all of your inventory in QuickBooks. The biggest mistake that my Shopify clients make in trying to track their inventory in QuickBooks Online is that they try to set up all of the inventory details, the inventory items and quantities and costs, and it's a lot of work and messes things up and you don't need to do it. But you might be asking yourself then, okay, so how do I track inventory? Well, let's go over some things that you need to know. You'll track your inventory in a spreadsheet or by using an inventory management app. You'll need to track quantity and cost to get a dollar amount of your inventory. You'll use the total amount of your inventory at the end of the month and update the amount of the inventory in QuickBooks Online. And by doing so, you will bypass having to track individual items, costs, and quantities in QuickBooks Online. So how will you get your inventory balance to be reflected correctly in QuickBooks Online? You would use a journal entry and it's a, it's a type of entry that you make in QuickBooks. I'll have a video in the future showing you specifically how to do that. As I mentioned, you can use a spreadsheet to track your inventory or an inventory app. So let's discuss using a spreadsheet. Using a spreadsheet is the least expensive way to track your inventory. In fact, you can download an inventory tracking spreadsheet. Uh, if you look in the description box below, there's a link for you to do that and you can download that for free. And as I said, it's the least expensive way because I'm giving it to you for free, but it does take time. So while it's free, it does take your time to update that spreadsheet. Also look for the video that I did on getting your e-commerce inventory ready for tax time. That'll show you how to fill out the spreadsheet. Now let's discuss using an inventory app to track your inventory. Using an inventory app, while um, yes, you do have to pay for it, is the most streamlined way of tracking and managing your inventory. You might look at several different options. There's quite a bit of options out there in the market, like Ecom Dash, Zoho Inventory, Sin7, and Scubana. And how do you choose? 
and we'll probably do a video on that in the future, but you have to look at the features and make sure that the features that they have are really going to address the needs that you have for managing your inventory. Now remember that although Shopify says that you can manage your inventory in Shopify, you can only manage inventory quantities and not the cost. And as a reminder again, that we have to be able to track the inventory dollar amount for accounting and tax purposes and you get that amount uh, when you have the inventory quantities and the cost. I'm Veronica Wasek with 5-Minute Bookkeeping. If you're ready to work with an experienced and reliable financial pro on your e-commerce accounting, then check the description box below for a link to learn more about my services and how we might work together. Also check the description box for my free ebook, The Biggest Mistakes That Creative Online Sellers Make When Hiring an Accountant, and also look for the link to join my Facebook community where you can ask questions. If this content is helping you, make sure that you comment, like, share, and subscribe to my channel so you can get all of my latest videos and leave me a comment if there's any other content that you'd like me to do in the future. I'm here to help you and I'm glad to do some content for you.